This is such a wonderful country, and it's painted as so dark, including by President Biden. This phony crap about his being a uniter, it, it's, it's so uh, the lying media, which is uh, redundant, go along with this. I read to you his speech, his disgusting speech, that the 70, 1776 is a lie, that he said that. He said that in his speech. Sorry, counterfactual, yeah. We, the, President Trump set up a commission to, to try to counter with facts the spectacular lie of the New York Times that the country was founded in 1619 when the first slaves arrived and that we fought the American Revolution in order to preserve slavery. Liberal, Trump-hating historians, the leading historians of America, called it a lie, starting with Sean Will Lentz at Princeton. And this president, this phony, has the audacity to say it's counterfactual. He'll say anything that the left wants him to say. It's like, it's like a marionette standing up there. This guy who's made a fortune while being in politics. How did he make a fortune? Trump made a fortune as a private citizen. Joe Biden's been a politician his entire life. I, I, I wish I didn't have to say this. I, I don't I don't enjoy attacking a president. The left loves it, but I don't I, I don't I don't not enjoy it. <sighs> wow. Counterfactual. San Francisco board votes to strip names of Lincoln and Washington from local schools. This is the headline in the Hill. What do you think of that, huh? You don't think the left is out to destroy this country? Washington and Lincoln are so bad you can't keep them on school names? Do you understand? What does it take to convince you the left loathes this country and wants to destroy it as we have known it? What, what evidence do you need? I give it to you every day. I don't know what animates them. I don't really give a damn. School board in San Francisco has voted to do away with the names of dozens of schools in the district that some have deemed hold offensive histories. Among the schools set to have their names changed are Lowell High School, Lincoln High, Washington High, Roosevelt Middle. Roosevelt. It's not, it's not I assume it's Theodore Roosevelt. John Muir Elementary. What's wrong with John Muir? The environmentalist. Yeah, there's something about it. Something about it. Uh, 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 mm. uh, well, he, he. Oh yeah, I remember. He came out for the protection of white trees. Yeah, that's right. I think that was it. I think that I think that was the issue. Feinstein Elementary School. What's wrong with Diane Feinstein? She's like one of the leading liberals of the last half century. Isn't that amazing? They called him a racist. They made derogatory comments about black and indigenous people. Well, Feinstein Elementary is named after Senator Diane Feinstein, Democrat California, is among the longest serving members of the upper chamber. It's a message to our families, our students, and our community, said board member Mark Sanchez. According to the San Francisco Chronicle, it's not so just symbolic, it's a moral message. So Mark Sanchez is morally superior to Abraham Lincoln. What a great man. What a great, arrogant SOB. Wow. Well, it's a product of our uh, college, college system. Lincoln's name was recommended for a removal from one of the city's high schools due to the reported treatment of Native Americans. Oh. Some community members voiced opposition to the move. I must admit there are reasons to support this resolution, but I can't. Local resident John Parrish told the newspaper, these are not decisions that should be made in haste. I assure you they were not made in haste, sir. The left has been desiring to destroy this country for half a century. 
Debate over the names of schools in San Francisco has been going on for some time. In December, see, it's not in haste. In December, a committee's recommendation to rename many of the schools drew some backlash, including from former President Trump, who at the time called it so ridiculous and unfair. I, I miss that. <laughs> many of his tweets were over the top and very injurious to him. But as I said the entire time, everybody's a package, and he did so much good. I, I had no choice but to tolerate the tweets. London Breed, the city's African-American mayor. Did you know that? That the mayor of San Francisco was named London Breed? Is it a male or a female? Have you ever heard of a person named London? I, I knew someone named Newark, but I never knew anybody named London. Person. Yeah, person. Yeah, person. Remember that guy? Newark Cohen. He's a member of the synagogue. He's a Torah reader. And now we call on Newark to read this week's portion. Why do you give a child? I, I'm not being cute. This is obviously not against this person. He, he didn't give himself or she didn't give her. Is it a male or female? Please tell me because I'd like to know he or she. But why would a parent name a child London? It is a female? Okay. What do you mean appears to be a female? I all right, Wait. Oh, okay. So that's what you're being. You, you don't know that that's the chosen pronoun. So based on that, you have already assigned her a sex. Anyway, London, all right, so yes, female. London Breed, the city's African-American mayor, has previously voiced opposition to renaming the schools, saying the board should instead focus on reopening their buildings to students and dealing with the coronavirus pandemic. Exactly what uh, you said into my earphones. It's offensive to me as someone who went to our public schools, who loves our public schools, and who knows how those years in the classroom are what lifted me out of poverty and into college, Breed said last fall. It's offensive to our kids who are staring at screens day after day instead of learning and growing with their classmates and friends. Did I ever think I would agree with a mayor on San Francisco about anything? She's right. It's not offensive, it's criminal. The teachers' unions are a disgrace to children. The greatest, the greatest harm to children being done in the United States of America today is being done by teachers because of their unions and because they go along with the unions. That's a fact. I spoke to you about the Chicago Teachers' Union the other day. CDC had another report about how rare it is to have a, a, a child-to-teacher transmission of covid and even then, you still your chances of being seriously hurt or killed are minuscule. Combination of cowardice and left-wing politics. Bad combination.